Good evening. We got a break from the rain today, but flooding continues to be a problem, especially on the island, where with more rain in the forecast, Mayor John Tory says residents are in potential danger and could be evacuated if conditions worsen. After a two-day deluge, we got a break from the rain today, but it continues to wreak havoc across the city. This is footage taken near Mount Pleasant and St. Clair, where the rain has caused a mudslide, washing away a good chunk of the backyards and fences of two homes into a ravine. At a waterlogged Woodbine Beach, the ducks, the dogs, and the kids are having a great time. These Muskoka chairs, maybe not so much. They are looking a little forlorn, half submerged underwater. The wind and the waves just aren't letting up. As night fell on the island, the flooding continued, along with the widespread sandbagging, which homeowners hope will keep water out of their houses. Head west to Etobicoke, where waves tossed tree branches onto the shore and washed away a stone path. And then all the waves were coming over all day yesterday. Mayor John Tory was surveying the damage caused by Lake Ontario's high water levels today. He says yesterday's winds and rain have scuttled the city's efforts to return the beach to normal. All the hard work done in previous days to try and move sand around to protect the beaches uh, and also to get rid of this uh, temporary lake uh, in some respects were for naught. At some point in time when it seems appropriate, uh, they're going to have to begin that work over again. We will be continuing until, until we have to uh, have the situation resolved. This is not something where we're focused on the cost, where we're focused on the solution, getting the best service that we can to get the beaches back and get the island safe again. Serious flooding, not only a problem in Toronto, but in eastern Ontario and Quebec as well. In fact, Airbnb has extended its disaster response program to help local residents in Ottawa, Montreal and Gatineau who have been displaced by the flooding. Airbnb will provide temporary housing for free.